Cooper appears to be raising his profile as a surrogate for the Biden-Harris campaign. He headlined a campaign call today along with former Democratic House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. And that has some observers wondering about his next step. WRAL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie joining us live from downtown Raleigh at the State Legislative Building with what they had to say. Laura? You know, the call was about was about Trump's recent social media post that if he's reelected, he will try again to repeal Obamacare, otherwise known as the ACA. Well, that's especially relevant here in North Carolina because we're just about to expand Medicaid starting on Friday, and the ACA is what makes that possible. A Cooper has campaigned for Medicaid expansion for nearly a decade now. And now Donald Trump wants to blow it all up without a serious alternative, taking health care away from millions of people. Now, it's not clear at this point whether congressional Republicans would actually support another attempt to repeal the ACA. An earlier attempt failed back in 2017. But Democrats clearly see this as an opening for campaign messaging. And Laura, you said you were surprised to see the governor taking part in this campaign call. Why is that? Yeah, I was because, you know, at the national level, North Carolina has tended to vote Republican for the last few decades. Right. So elected Democrats here have tended to keep national Democrats at arm's length, generally speaking. Observers say there's a few reasons that this case with Cooper may be different. First, Cooper can't run in 2024 due to term limits, so he doesn't have to worry about his own political chances. Second, there's been a lot of talk about Cooper possibly getting a position in a second Biden administration. Third, and maybe most importantly, the Biden campaign needs him. Cooper and Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir are considered models for how Democrats can win in states where that might not otherwise seem likely. Political pundits say that makes Cooper a good choice to speak for a campaign that seems to be having some trouble reaching the average voter. And we're likely to see more of that as the campaign season goes on. Lena, A lot of people interested in what he'll do next. We'll see. Laura Leslie reporting live for us. Thank you.